This is Louise for MMA Crazy and I'm joined by one half of the main event for UFC London, Jorge Masvidal. How are you feeling? Nice shirt. Thank you very much. I feel great. I feel good. Good, good. good. And you're taking on Darren Till, obviously, who's uh, the home guy, home country favourite here. Um, but talk to us a little bit about how this fight came together, because obviously you came out on Twitter and, and asked for this fight. Yeah, I asked for this fight. Um, Darren had also asked for the fight in a very cool, polite way some time ago. And I thought that was cool, and I saw he was having trouble getting fights. A lot of guys were uh, saying yeah to fighting him, I was seeing, but then not signing the contract. Same exact thing that was going on with me. So it was a no-brainer. It was real easy. Just, fuck it, let's fight. We're both having trouble fighting. We both could put on a fight. Let's do this. What are we What are we talking about, right? We're talking about fighting? Let's just do it, you know? And, you know, Darren's a cool dude. He didn't go about the fucking uh, new age scumbag ways of disrespecting my mom and me having to insult his family and all that stuff to get the fight made. So that was even cooler, you know. So I think it's awesome, man. And you had a fight full through with Nick Diaz. Um, talk a little bit about that and how you felt afterwards. Because obviously you've been inactive for quite a while. So how did that feel, kind of gearing yourself up for that and then for that to fall through? It, it sucked at the time. I thought it was going to happen. You know, I'd seen also Dana White tweet about it. I go, man, this thing's happening for sure. You know, uh, the boss of of this thing is is saying that the fight's on, so it's on. And then it didn't happen. It sucked at the time. It hurt, but I don't give a fuck. I got something already. You know, I'm fighting number three in the world. I think it's a it's a different spot, but it's maybe a better spot for me. You know, as far as going for the title after this and and things like that. So I'm just ready to go, man. I'm ready to compete. And talk about the matchup as well. Um, Darren Till, obviously, you both come to bang, I suppose you can kind of say. Um, but what excites you so much about this matchup? Just the fight, really, to tell you the truth. I haven't fought in over a year, and it's my favorite drug of choice. It's my roller coaster. It's what really thrills me, you know. The people keep asking me, how do you stay motivated? It's easy. I love what I do, you know. If if you love your job, it's kind of easy. If you love what you do, you know. So I'm, I'm motivated since the moment I wake up to do whatever I got to do to get the task done. So it's, it's an easy, easy fix for me. Just keep fighting and I'll be happy. And you haven't fought since 2017. So I know you've been away. You've been doing a reality TV show. But how have you got your body ready for, for this Saturday? Oh, you get a fish at any point of that fish's career and you throw it in the water, it's going to swim. <laughs> I fight. It's the only thing I know. It's the only thing I've done. I'm not good with balls. I, I, don't, I don't play sports. I don't, um, I don't know. I don't do anything else but fighting, you know. I don't have to do it every day to be good at it. I could walk outside of my house. Somebody tries to mug me. They're going to get fucked up, you know. It's, it's just something that God gave me. And that ability ain't never going to leave my body, you know. And like you said, Darren Till is ranked number three in the division. So where do you think a win over him would put you? Oh, a win over him has to be for the title shot, a rocket ship right to the title. You know, his only loss is to the title, uh, to the champ. So why why would it be any different? You know, why uh, with my body of work, too, it's not like I'm some rookie guy that won the ultimate fighter. You know, no, I'm, I've been here for a while kicking some of the, the greatest asses in the world. You know, why would this not propel me to the title, you know, especially with the... With the mob of, of fans that Darren has behind him because he has quite a large army behind him so I, I would think I'd be fighting for the title ASAP you know and Ben Askren has uh, well he's here in London <laughs> what do you think of him obviously he's uh, expressed an interest in fighting the winner out of this match I, I just see it like <sighs> if I was to talk bad about the Prime Minister here are they gonna ask the Prime Minister, hey, Jorge Masvidal is talking about you? No, I don't give a fuck. Neither do I. Do I give a fuck about this group, you know? He didn't win the fight. He didn't choke out Robbie. In my eyes and in all the fighters' eyes, Robbie went like this. I've never seen somebody go to sleep doing this. Never in my life, you know? So it's from, from a, a fighting man, I would say, let me fight Robbie and let me kick his ass. Let me, let me, let me do it right, you know? Let me leave all doubts gone. But nah, he wants to wheeze away. He wants to quickly evade that, you know. Um, me and Ben will fight at some point. I don't know if it'll be after this fight because, like I said, I'm fighting for the title. But I will break Ben's face at some due date. And obviously we have a new welterweight champion, Kamara Usman. What did you think of his uh, performance against Tyron Woodley? I, I don't own a TV and, and don't everybody panic at once. It's, uh, it's a choice. It's not that I can't afford the TV, you know. So... Um, I didn't see the fight. I heard it was uh, very one-sided. Woodley backed himself up into the cage. Usman 
just kept him up against the cage. Woodley did all the work for him, so I, I didn't understand uh, Woodley's game plan. I thought Woodley would win easy. Woodley's a way better wrestler on paper, and, and he's also proven it a lot of times. And I don't know, I just never thought that Usman would beat him. You know, Woodley has uh, gas tank problems at times, but so does Usman. So I, I don't know. It was a shocker for me that uh, Usman won. You know, especially one-sided. You know. Okay, so with that kind of fresh matchup, obviously with Kamara Usman being a fresh new champion, um, how do you see this fight going down? How how do you see it ending? My fight, I win by brutal, devastating ending. You know, it's not going to decision. I'm hurting the guy. You know, I don't want it to go to the judges' hands in England. So I don't know what round, I don't know what way, but I'm gonna end it. You know, I'm gonna finish it. Give the give the English fans a proper ending. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you.